what we can automate server creation automation software installation automation tomcat setup and even deployment also you can automate that means we can call it a simply end to end automated tool okay so next uh, in ansible master node is going to communicate with worker node how it is going to communicate sir sh communication first of all we need to generate the keys we need to copy the keys into the worker nodes itself and to work with ansible do we need to connect to all the nodes okay i want to work with no no required only one ansible main node is enough these worker nodes are not required to connect if you want me to show like let's do it so in ansible last class we have seen ad hoc commands right what is the meaning of ad hoc commands sir ad hoc command meaning and like we have seen right ha ah, correct one temporary commands like for example ad hoc commands sir simple linux commands which we are going to use for the temporary works which works temporary works so if i want to install git what is the command sir ansible all hyphen a hyphen a means arguments a means all servers ansible is a tool i'm using it's a command line tool for it so use the command yum install in last class already we installed git right so it, it is telling already git is installed so no need to install one more time if you want to install any other package so put the package i want to install a package called tree tree is a package am i able to install tree or not sir am i able to install tree or not so like this so clear the screen as of now now next year what i'm going to do is you know i'm going to teach you about modules what we are going to learn so put the heading as ansible modules ansible modules modules works on key value pair key value pair so for example if you want to do a work inside with the help of ansible we prefer to use modules modules use it to complete the work or to do the work to do the work which we want depends upon the work module is going to change sir depend on the work module changes for example if i want to install i need to use m module if i want to start a service i need to use service module if i want to create a user i need to use user module depends upon the work your module is changing or not sir that's it so now like uh, fine so like how to use a module means basically guys modules will work on key value pair can anyone tell me the exact uh, definition of key value pair you might seen this daily at least once you see daily okay let's forget about daily activities when you go for naresh id they are going to give registration form right i would done the registration form first of all they are going to ask like this name correct or not sir you put your name raham next they are going to ask course you are going to give devops next they are going to ask p you are going to pay here name is the key raham is the value okay again course is the key devops is the p is the and 8k is the so key value pair is nothing but like this only in modules we are going to use the key value pair what we are going to use sir is the meaning of key value pair clear for you why because we need to use 
AML syntax on later on point. For that purpose, AML works on key value pair. I'm teaching here now. No, not variables. Variables is some different topic actually. Okay, fine now. Sir, uh, like uh, I'll write one module. Try to understand this module. I'll explain you later. For example, like uh, I already installed Git, right? Let me try to remove the Git. Ansible, all hyphen. Eh? Tell me the command to remove Git. Git, I'm going to remove tree. Star means it is going to remove the dependency as well. For some packages, dependencies will be there. If you want to remove dependency as well, we need to give star. Clean now. I'll write the module, try to understand. Try to see that for a few seconds and try to tell me like what you are understanding with it. Are you able to understand anything? Hmm? Yes or no? Yes, you are able to understand. Like, first of all, I'm asking one question. Is the module able to understand? Point number one. Then you don't want shortcut. If it is understand right, why do you teach shortcut, sir? Without shortcut, we can go, right? So, go. If you understand ad hoc command, your module is very easy. Of course, module is not easy for you while seeing it, but I'll make it easy for you. So I'll teach you module with the help of ad hoc command, sir. It is very, very easy. First of all, like uh, try to use ad hoc command. Tell me the ad hoc command to install Git, sir. Ansible all hyphen a yum install git hyphen y. Correct or not, sir? If you understand this one, I'll teach you modules. In module also, ansible all hyphen a is common. Hyphen a is Sir, if you want to install a module, sir, if you want to install a package, we need to use module. So before hyphen A, put hyphen M. Hyphen M stands for module. Hyphen M stands for which module you are using to install in Git, sir? Is that clear? Ansible all hyphen A are same, but before that you are putting hyphen M. Hyphen M meaning is which module you are using to install Git? Is it point clear, sir? Next. Here, what is the name of the package, sir? State is equal to, you are installing, right? So you need to give present. Present means installing. What is present means? This is how you need to understand the module. One more time, I'll tell you. Remove all of this. Ansible, all hyphen A is common. But before hyphen A, I need to use hyphen M for which model to install package? To install any package, we need to use M. M is coming to here or not, sir? Now here, you are having install and git. Which package, like which package you are installing? Name of the package is state. Install is equal to? Clear, sir? Now same to same accurately you are seeing or not? Hit enter. Now it is going to install the git package. Is it done, sir? Clear the screen. Now tell me, is the model easy now? All of you are able to understand? Next. With the help of this syntax, tell me the model to install a package called Docker. Tell me the model. Ansible. All hyphen A is common, but before hyphen A, hyphen M means which model to install package? M. Next. Double quotes. Name is equal to? Docker, ah, uh, state is equal to install means only one example I have taught you, right? From now, examples you are going to tell me. I'll tell the statement. You need to derive me the model. Can we do it? Sure. Then I won't teach anything from now. You need to tell me every answer. I'll tell the sint like I'll tell the definition. You need to tell me the model for it. So the module executed perfectly, sir. Now. Tell me the module, tell me the module to install 
Apache. Apache means HTTPD. Tell me the module. Ansible. Uh, all. Hyphen M. M for which module to install packages? M. Uh, name is equal to Apache HTTPD. State is equal to Correct or not, sir? Sir, how can you know that is really installing? How can you ensure? Are you seeing yellow color? Yellow color means successfully task done. Already HTTP is installed in my previous class. So, you need to understand about the color pattern. In Ansible, whenever you are working, you need to understand the color pattern. Sir, I'll, I'll write it here, color pattern. If the color is yellow, task is successful. If the color is red, task is failed. If the color is green, task is already done. Like action is already performed. So already done. Next, if the task is blue, skipped. Clear enough, sir. Currently, we are getting green color. Green color means what, sir? Already install. Sir, now I want to uninstall that one. Same in the place of present. What is the opposite for present? Present means install. Option means uninstall. See now it is going to uninstall or not, sir? Yellow color. Yellow color means my socks is uh, like socks not. Task is successfully done. What is done successfully? Task. Fine. Sir, now again I try to install HTTPD, sir. Again, instead of absent, what I need to put again here? Present. Hit enter. So now it is going to install the package called HTTPD. So now tell, is models uh, difficult to understand or easy? Why it is easy? Because we derived ad hoc from modules. If I directly tell you module, you know, you are not able to understand anything. But if I derive ad hoc, you are comfortable with ad hoc. From ad hoc, have I said module, how to remember? So if I say like this, it is going to be more easy for you. Now tell me one thing. I want to update a package. In that case, again, same thing. Instead of present or absent, I will put now latest. What I will put? Latest means what? Basically, by default, every package is up to date, whatever we are installing. It is telling the message, all packages you are providing for HTTPDR, that means no need to perform anything. It is green color. Green color means already updated packages only we are getting or not, sir. This is how you need to understand about the Ansible. If you understand the color codes, first of all, you will have the clarity. What exactly is happening? Clear, sir? That's it. So let me write down the words here. Present means install. I'm writing here. Mm. Absent means and again latest. So, is this clear till now for all of you? Online, what about you? Can you please confirm in chat once? Is the concept clear till now for everyone? Please. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you everyone for your great response. So, seems all of you are comfortable till now. Okay, fine. Sir, next time I am going to ask you one thing. Sir, HTTPD is service, sir. HTTPD is Service by default when you download it will be on which state? Already we seen or not, sir? Whenever you download any kind of service, it is by default going to be on stopper state. Now I want to start the HTTPD. What I can write here? System CTR means that is uh, ad hoc, but we are using modules now. So I need to write started. Started is the model I want to use now. Can I hit enter now? If I hit enter, I am going to get an error. That's for damn sure. Started is correct only. 
started is read this error and try to troubleshoot i'll give you one minute of chance for you why because troubleshooting i want you to teach lively i am not focusing more about concepts i'll focus about troubleshooting why because if you learn troubleshooting you can do anything sir what it is telling you should no no i want to start it right no 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 python is there that's not there x <clears throat> value of state must be absent or it might be install it might be latest present or removed that means we need to take words from only this index but what i have given that means started is not going to support but sir i'll ask you a single question which model we are using now huh tell me the model name in that m is to install packages or not sir but am i installing package now or am i restarting for restarting can we use m package sir anywhere so we need to use service module which module so here clearly i said one point what is the point i said here depends on the work module will change now previously my work is to install for install packages a yeah, module is but now i want to start the service so i need to use service module which module so remember this point depends upon the task your module is going to be changed sir it is going to start now ansible for every module what you are using it is distributed based only for example you are using m module m module you are on which distribution amazon linux red hat centos packages but if you go for like ubuntu which distribution you are going to use apt that means module will change there depends upon the distribution module is going to change sir it started sir no started i want to check the status how to check the status can we use system ctl command for it tell me the ad hoc command to check the status no ansible hyphen a system ctl status now check i'll get all of the status now sir in server number 4 is it activate or not sir server number 4 active now go for server number 3 active or not sir again server number 2 active again server number 1 active correct or not sir this is the way how i can use the service module to work with service if i want to stop it what i'll do you know stop it. again it is going to stop now stop it or not sir again can i use ad hoc module system ctl status currently it is on which state inactive which state sir that is the thing you need to understand is it clear for all of you so by using ansible we can install packages and we can work with service as well. oh sorry this is not the thing if you want to start a service you need to write started if you want to stop it you need to write stop it so is the service module clear for all of you know service module fine next thing i am gonna create a user sir so tell me the what is the command to create user ansible all hyphen name service hyphen name name is equal to i want to give the user name as rajnikant what is the name of the user name state is equal to present correct or not sir if i hit that what is going to happen error absolutely error why it is going to get error because i want to work with user but which model i am using now sir will service module work with user sir is it even possible no so i need to use again user module which model it is is a user rajnikanth created now work is changing so module is also going to change like that 
so it is the module which i used to create user sir to work with user which module i want to create sir user module again if you don't want the user instead of present what you can put if i put absent user is going to delete it is he gone or not sir so this is how you need to understand about the modules so modules are nothing but it will work on key value pair which will go to use for reusability purpose which purpose absent sir for example i want to copy a file sir in my ansible main server look here this is the most common thing you are going to perform with ansible server definitely you will need to use at least like a two to three times in a week in a least case i am talking about in a least case sir in ansible main server i have one file sir let's create the file vm application dot yml you know what is the meaning of application dot yml oh, like in real time use this file definitely write the note point all of you if you don't have notes please write it on your whatsapp chat on your why because it is very important file okay application dot yml is a text file which contains the properties of application application dot yml is a text file which contains the properties of application it is a text file which contains the properties of application for example what it is going to consist means i'll tell about my organization file in my organization we use application dot yml i'll tell exactly what we write on our aml file first of all we are going to write the name of the application for example like i am giving abc sir for application we have the web server or not sir i am going to write the web server url so web server like i am giving 192.168.100.1 it is my web server url what is the port number 8080 one more thing like for a web server you don't have 8080 you have only 80 and for app server you are like ip address is going to change like some dummy ips i am giving here don't think it is real ips some dummy ips 8080 and your db server it's aml right how how, how it can be json huh. yes definitely like only difference between aml and json means aml is key value pair of course json also key value pair but you have commas and braces but in aml you never see commas actually even braces too so i am giving 5432 what is the port number of 5432 i'll tell about the port numbers web server port number is always 80 example apache or nginx app server port number will be 8080 tomcat database port number 5432 5432 means which port number it is mysql which one postgres we have database called postgres the postgres port number is 54 If you talk about Arango DB, Arango DB is having the port number call eight five two nine, and you know the port number of MySQL. Anyone? Three three zero six. Like I'll show you zero six only. So depends upon the database as well. Like port number is going to change, sir. In application dot YML, what is the definition I said to you? Read the definition for me. What I said. it is a text file which contains the properties of application every property of application we are going to put on app.yml and apart from this you are going to have the load balancer url load balancer like the something www.amazon.com like or flipkart or abc.com like that okay guys remember in real time it is the most important file when you deploy a application inside the application only they are going to put the application.yml file For example, if I change the IP address of my server, I need to change an app dot yml. Otherwise, application will not work. If I change port number for my application, I need to update an app dot yml. Otherwise, application will not work. Okay, this is how the real time is going to be work. Definitely, we need to work on application dot yml, which contains the every information of the application. Sorry. No, no. Basically, you don't. You used to have the key value pairs only. 
So this will be the key and this will be the value. That's it. So now come out of the file, sir. For example, in my main server, I have one file called application.yml. I want to copy to all of this worker nodes, sir. I want to copy this file to all of the, in that case, what I'm going to do? There is a module for it. The module is Ansible all hyphen M copy module I am using hyphen A. What is the source file, sir? App dot YML. And what is the destination? I want to copy it to my TMP folder for every server. Now the application dot YML is going to copy to TMP folder for every server, sir. Hit enter now. See what will happen. Copied or not, sir? File copied or not? How can you tell it is copied or not? Color, color. Color, color, what color? Color is a hello. Hello color means what then? So that's it. Simply it is copied if you want to check. So directly we can give Ansible all hyphen A. Can you give LS, sir? That means LS command is going to work on all servers. If I get it, have I get the application of YML? I won't get it. Command is correct, but I won't get it. Are you seeing app.yml? Mm, we need to give what? Basically, whenever I give ls, it is going to check for root folder by default. But where you copied the file? Temp. So we need to give slash tmp. Now in tmp, are you seeing app.yml, sir? Seeing the file or not? If you want to copy to root path, instead of dest slash tmp, put root now. Can we copy to root folder now? Now you tell me the command how to copy to root folder. Ansible all hyphen m m for module. Which module? Ah, next hyphen a. Then src. What is the name of the file? Comma dash. To which path I want to copy? Now this file is going to place on root folder. It is done. How can you check yellow color? LS slash TMP also will be having the file. Now if I give LS slash root in root also have the file or not, sir? Have you seen the app.yml now? So definitely we need to copy some files to all the worker nodes. Why? Because if you want to, for example, like I'll tell one real time scenario, you have some scripts to update the server. For example, I have one script, sir. I want to run this script on every server. I have hundred servers. Will I go to all the hundred servers and will I go to run it, sir? What I'll do, I'll copy the script to my Ansible server. With the Ansible server, can I able to copy to all my worker nodes? So this automation is going to work in end of scripts in all the servers we are having. In that case, we are going to use copy module. Which module, sir? Copy module is going to copy the script from Ansible main server to all the worker nodes or not, sir. Now, can we execute the script? Definitely, you can execute. Clear now? That's it. Simple meaning, I'll tell you. Simple definition. How many worker nodes I have? Huh? Four worker nodes. In four worker nodes, I want to do Jenkins setup, sir. I already have the script to set up, right? Can I copy the setup from here to my worker nodes? Directly in four servers, I can able to execute, right? That is a real time example. Of course, Tomcat also you are going to execute like that. Only. I'll tell you how to execute Tomcat as well. Clear no? Fine. So the copy module is to copy the files from Ansible main node to worker nodes. No matter how many worker nodes you have, sir. It is going to copy to all the worker nodes. So after copying it, you need to give Ansible all hyphen a ls slash root to verify. You want to verify it, it is copied or not? That's it. And one more use case, can I tell you? For example, I update application.yml. From version 1 to version 2, I got new servers. New server will get new IP or not, sir? I want to copy new IP to all the application.yml files or not, sir? What I will do, I will update the file here, again I will copy or not. Can you do it? So these are the use cases for using the copy module. Definitely, this works, you are going to do on real time, that's for damn sure.
clear guys so is the module clear for all of you now everyone how many models we have seen tell me how many models do not four m is a module service module user copy is of course we have lot of models i'm going to tell now like one by one sir i have a question i want to use multiple modules i want to use multiple modules how can we use in cli is it possible module purpose is for reusability module purpose is for but where i am reusing now i'm not able to reuse right for that purpose we are going to use a concept called ansible playbooks what is the name of the concept so your first interview point of view question from ansible they will ask you what is playbook playbook is a collection of modules playbook is what sir you can execute multiple modules at a single time with the help of playbook so i'm writing here we can execute multiple modules at same time clear sir what is the meaning of playbook here playbook is a collection of modules and we can execute multiple playbooks at a single time fine and we can reuse the playbook that means if you if you install some packages now in future also you want to install no need to write another playbook same playbook we can use multiple times clear or not sir playbook is written on playbook will be written on yaml language which language what is the meaning of yaml yet another markup language so we have a lot of markup language html hypertext mark markup language xml extensible markup language and yml of course like even i don't know there are some other extension as well but the most thing you are going to use in real time is yaml guys you know how much the yaml is important in your upcoming tools it is now ansible in future docker after that kubernetes these three tools completely are going to work on ml only if you want to work on these tools you need to learn about ml what is ml at another markup language you know like ml language is very easy i already shown one file right app.yml app.yml that is ml syntax only so ml it's a human readable and serializable language ml is syntax based which is based that means completely we write syntax only if the syntax is gone we are not going to work with it yaml start with three hyphens and end with three dots that is optional okay yaml file is going to start with how many hyphens and end with how many dots that is optional even though if you don't want you can remove it and in ml we are going to write the values on list format we write it on list format which format sir i'll tell like what is the meaning of list here one more time <laughs> playbook is a collection of we can exit like what is the purpose of using a uh, playbook instead of modules for running multiple modules and we can reuse the playbook written on which programming language sir let's not program it's a serializable language only basically yaml means at another markup language it's a human readable and serial language it is completely syntax based which based yaml start with three hyphens and they're going to end with three dots and one more interesting fact about uh, yaml is completely from now to real time you need to learn only yaml language in real time are we going to use ansible docker and kubernetes or not sir in real time configuration files as well we are going to use yaml language only which language 
completely every configuration file in real time you are going to see 95 percentage are ml based only point clear sir so ml is everything so try to focus now like how ml is going to work sir here i want to install http package what i want to install i want to create a user and i want to start the http service how many modules are required now for installing m module for restarting service model and for creating user three modules i want to run at same time i want to run it what i am going to do you know like i am going to furnish all the modules inside the playbook so let's start about the playbook no playbooks are very very easy if you understand modules vm playbook 1.yml playbook name can be anything and extension for ml is yml or dot yml so extension okay you can use dot yml or you can use dot depends upon your choice and name of the playbook also it's up to your name like if you want to give my name of course i can also give my name as well raham dot yml sir ml start with three hyphens and end with three which is optional if you want to write you can write so now give hyphen posts i will start with list hyphen is nothing but it is a starting of the list actually host all means i am going to work on all servers tasks hyphen name of the task sir my first task is to install git sir like install http install http tell me the module i want tell the playbook you are going to tell me the playbook have a tot playbook it is your first playbook right but trust me you are going to write the entire playbook not me i'll tell what is the thing you want to do you will going to tell me the syntax now to install http what is the module ah what is the name of the package next clear now tell me the remaining two modules i'll write the name of the task you tell me the module sorry ha uh, i am root now definitely why not yeah in the starting of the day why i given root user permission to log in and run right that's it so now tell me the module now you can give i already shown you how to create user right uh we can do it of course in user you can put your raham as well if you create a user you can give permission that you can do so here in top of host like in top of a task put user as raham but raham need to be on sudo file he need to have the permissions so now sir like uh, task number 1 is done installing http what is the task number 2 so you know the syntax right tell me service hmm. name is equal to ah then state is equal to start it tell me user ah huh? i think i already created my user in last session okay let's take a very famous name ah huh. then next state is equal to you know who is he ah uh, who is he the very famous character in the movie low today have you seen that movie hmm. very interesting character fine so tell me one thing it is your first playbook right have you said anything on playbook or you said me playbook nen cheppanu meer rasara how of course luck like, i write that but who said the playbook who said sir have you said or you said to me okay that that is 
how you should need to learn if i tell one example you need to tell 100 examples for me in reverse i explained only one example or not sir remaining examples you are giving back to me right atlu untadu malla man thoni fine sir now how to execute a playbook means command is very easy but before that remove the http already http is installed i think in your previous uh, comments let me try to remove the http tell me the command to remove the http you can use ad hoc or you can use model which one you want to tell ad hoc or model you will want me to use ad hoc ah huh? then tell me the ad hoc command ansible uh, all if i name m remove http star star is going to remove the dependent packages which packages great done sir no so now i am going to run the playbook how to run the playbook means very very easy ansible hyphen playbook name of the playbook is raham.yml how to execute the playbook ansible hyphen playbook raham.yml enter <coughs> So done, sir. Now, what is your task number one? Is it done? How can you tell without checking? Color started. Next, created the. So, how to read the Ansible playbook means it is very very easy. First of all, sir, it is telling that in so and so server, OK is equal to four, change is equal to three. Sir, what is the meaning of OK is equal to four? What is the meaning of change is equal to three? okay means total number of task performed by ansible what is the meaning of okay meaning of okay number of task performed by ansible change is equal to 3 means how many tasks given by the user sir user given how many tasks but how ansible is performing four tasks why because there is a task called gather facts what is the name of the task gather fact meaning is it is going to get the information from the worker node which node sir what is the meaning of gather fact tell me getting the information of worker node it is the default task performed by the ansible human will not perform this task sir ansible by default execute this task without human interaction clear no task number 1 task number 2 is installing git task number 3 installing HTTP. I mean, like starting HTTP. Task number four is creating. Okay, is it equal done or not, sir? Change it is equal to three means how many user given task executed? User gave three tasks. How many tasks are executed? Point clear, no? So this is how to understand the Ansible playbook. Clear for all of you? So this is the playbook, sir. Vm. Raham dot vm. Can you tell me the playbook one more time? This time I want you to tell for uninstalling. I want to tell for basically simply instead of present you can put on like absent. But I don't want to do it. I want you to tell me the syntax. Why? Because to treat you like sorry to teach you. First of all, let me write this uh, syntax on your notes. It is your playbook one. Okay. playbook name can be anything playbook name can be tell me the command to execute playbook ansible hyphen playbook playbook name dot yml correct or not sir one second Okay, fine, sir. Now I want you to tell me the playbook to uninstall all of these packages. So tell me. So for uninstall, instead of putting install, remove or uninstall anything is fine. So tell me. Yum. Na. Ah. Ah. present after the present correct 
So here I need to write the absent. Next. I'll give name only. You need to tell me the syntax. Tell me now. Service name is equal to ah. Stop it. What it is? Now. Name. Ah. Module. Ah. Ah. Clear, sir? Now, have you got the clarity of writing models and playbook? Let's try to execute this one. I'll ask a logic point, but not now. But try to remember this one. First of all, you are removing the history DPD. Next, you are stopping. And finally, you are removing the users. The playbook. Too. Fine. Sir, uh, like, tell me the comment to run the playbook. You Your playbook is going to fail now. There is a logic point behind it. Let's see. Ah, no, 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 not that one. In which task is got failed, sir? Stopping the why it got failed. I think uh, you know the answer, sir. <laughs> you don't tell me. Like, let's give a chance for remaining persons. Ah, uh, what's the logic point there? I removed the HTTP or not, sir? If I, either re if I remove the HTTPD, it is completely going to remove. Next, what is the task stopping the HTTPD? Sir, if the application is removed, that means web server is removed. How can I stop the service, sir? If I want to stop the service, I want to service install on my server. But what I have done? Uninstalled it. What I have done? After uninstalling a service, how can I remove it, sir? Not possible, right? It's like celebrating a birthday for a death person. Do you have the person there? No, then how can you celebrate birthday? That's it. Uh, for cake, huh? <laughs> if you want cake, then I'll arrange, okay? Don't buy. So is the concept clear for you now? Ansible playbook writing and furnishing the modules. Fine. Sir, here I'll ask you a question. Whenever Ansible playbook you are executing, if a task got failed, it is stopping the remaining task or not, sir? De stopping the remaining task. How can we avoid it? I know that I know that a particular task is going to fail, but still it is on my Ansible playbook. What we are going to do? Are we going to remove the code or not, sir? For example, like if I remove this code from here, if I remove this code from here, the playbook is not going to fail. Correct or not, sir? But again, in future, I want to write the same code. In future, I want to stop it. What I want to do now? Commented. Again, you want to uncomment, right? Oh, like whoever it can be. <laughs> there, there is a concept. I'll tell you. Don't worry. Conditional view. Like I'm asking the question. For example, this particular task is going to fail, sir. This particular task is going to. Then how you are going to avoid this kind of situations? One thing, like from online, I'm getting some doubts. Sorry, sorry, guys. I haven't seen this one. Okay. It's okay. It's answers are fine. I thought it was doubt actually fine. Okay. So tell me like, uh, before going for the concept of other is the Ansible playbook clear for everyone. Before I go for next topic. All in now uh, is the Ansible playbook writing clear for everyone in the class. Like all in people I'm asking. Can you please confirm in chat words? Open it completely if you want. <clears throat> okay, uh, thank you. Thank you for everyone. What happened?
sir next year uh, like i am going to tell about the concept called ansible tags what is the name of the tag like what is the name of the concept here tags is very simple sir for example i have 10 tasks to perform how, how many tasks i want to perform sir in a playbook i have 10 tasks but i want to execute only one task so in that command you can use a tags concept which concept let me tell you like first of all uh, let me write the playbook for it vim raham dot yml i'll delete all of them sir for example here i am going to give the statement now you tell me the modules one more time first of all i want to install docker tell me the modules ah uh, m name is equal to docker present task number 2 is ma uh, docker is a service we can start it give me the command m start docker docker is service now which which module hmm tell me service is equal to start or started started now i want to install one more package uh package name is uh, listrik maven tell me ha uh. name right then someone is telling yummy install directly name is equal to maven ha huh? install maven yum name is equal to maven state is equal to correct only right One second. Wait, 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 wait. Yum. Name of the package I want to install. Okay, okay. Here, okay. Sorry, I haven't seen this. <laughs> Fine. Here, like install. Fine. Wait, 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 wait. Don't confuse me. Wait. Service name is equal to other. Like state is equal to. Correct only, right? This one. Okay, here also I give an Emma. Oh, fine. Okay, now tell me name. Mm, like uh, I want to create user. Which module? User. Uh, name is equal to. Again, let's give it a B. Yeah. State is equal to. Okay. Now see the concept. It is going to be very fun actually. Sir, how many tasks you want to perform on the server? Four tasks. but i want to execute only one task if i run the playbook all tasks are going to execute or not sir but i want to execute only one task so this we can accomplish by using the concept called tags concept which concept for every task here just to give the tags tag name can be anything you can give a b c as well i am giving tags a for task 1 and for task 2 name will be tags of course again tags are not required for every task you can give specific tags for specific task as well see and finally mm. is the playbook clear first of all before i run i once it's not copying This laptop is making annoying, right? In classes, yes, right. Then buy me a new laptop. I don't have that much money to buy a laptop as of now. Huh? Yeah? We'll buy after your first salary. Yeah? This is the biggest lie I have ever heard on my students. Lot of people will tell me, "Sir, after my first salary, I'll buy that, sir. I'll buy this, sir. I'll take it to somewhere, sir." But they won't trust me there, and they will. Okay, fine. Right? At the end of the day, even. If you got the job, that is more than enough for me. It's like a buying a jet plane for me. Okay, fine. So the topic of tags is like a use it to 
execute or skip a particular or specific tasks clear sir for example how many tasks i have if i want to execute a specific task or if i want to skip a specific task i can use the concept called tags if i show something practical for you it will be easy for you uh, like let me execute this one sir in the above playbook i want to install maven only what i want to install what is the task like what is the tag for maven give the command for installing hyphen hyphen tags what is the tag for maven installation sir only maven is going to execute now remaining all of the tasks are not going to execute sir already is maven is installed there for that purpose it is showing green color let me remove and let me reinstall one more time so tell me the command ansible all hyphen a m remove maven star hyphen y like that is already installed now previously so i haven't removed that's the reason it is getting the green color so now is uh, maven trying to install or not sir in my playbook i have four tasks but how many tasks are executing here one with the help of which concept tags concept which concept sir this is the purpose of using tags concept sir for example i want to execute multiple tags now i want to install docker and i want to start the docker as well what is the tag for installing docker a tag is for installing docker and tag b is to i want to do only these two activities in that case tell me the command ansible hyphen playbook ram dot yml hyphen hyphen tags a comma b hit enter now directly first of all it will execute tag a installing docker working or not sir of course docker also install that is coming on green color forget about the color is the process clear for you what is doing so this is way how you are going to work with the tags concept sir so it finally what is the purpose of using tag sir huh? to execute a specific tags so you can use multi tags or you can execute the single tag so depends upon use like how you use this is sir for example let's understand on this way sir like uh, whenever i open the playbook sir i want to execute ta task a task b and task d i want to i don't want to install maven i don't want to install in that case can i give a comma b comma d sir maven is going to skip or not fine i'll ask the same question in different way now let's consider you are having 10 tags how many tags you want to skip only task number 7 in that case a comma b comma c comma d comma e g h are we going to give like that can we skip that particular task or not sir hmm. so in that case you are going to use the tag call skip tags which one for example let's see i already installed docker right let me remove the docker one more time tell me the command ansible all hyphen a m remove docker and maven also done sir no sir now see the concept cat raham dot yml sir i want to install docker i want to start the docker as well i want to create the user as well but i don't want to install maven sir so in that case ansible playbook raham dot yml hyphen hyphen tags can i give a comma b comma d sir yes sir instead of giving that you can give like this which tag you want to skip hyphen hyphen skip tags which tag you want to skip sir only that c tag is going to skip now remaining a b and d are going to work see now is it installing docker sir task number 1 is docker started now and user is already there but it is executed which task is missing now 
मैं वेंट आस क्विस्ट आस सर वाई बिकॉज़ आई डोंट वांट इट बेसिकली इंस्टेड ऑफ़ रीराइटिंग द प्लेबिक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ़ आई वांट टू एक्सेक्यूट थ्री टैग्स आई डोंट वांट टू डिलीट टैग एंड टैग बी राइट आई कैन कीप देम बट आई कैन सेलेक्ट व्हिच आई वांट टू एक्सेक्यूट स्पेसिफिकली करेक्ट और नॉट सर दैट्स इट सो इट इज़ द वे हाउ द एंसेबल इज़ गोइंग टू वर्क Of course, if you want to skip multiple tags, what you are going to do? Pama, one more thing. Multi skip tags. We come on. See, guys, tag name can be anything. Here, for my easy and for my convenience, I have given A, B, C names, but you can also give other name as well. Clear, sir? No. So this is enough for today. okay mm so that you are going to see in our upcoming class tomorrow probably why because we need to go like whatever the content i am going to teach like i have some sequence to follow like if the sequence is break like you might get some but again if you want to learn about condition in documentation i have given I have seen the documentation google classroom like if anyone want to learn the further concept i will suggest you to take the google classroom access in google classroom i given all the documents even if you want to learn kubernetes now start learning from now up to your choice so let's recap what we have seen on today's class sir in today's class what we have seen first of all module so what is the meaning of module module is a key value pair basically we use for reusability purpose it works on aml key value pair can also be called as dictionary what we can call it as how many modules i have taught you four first module is m to install the to install uninstall update remove everything second module is to start to stop to restart everything third module to create users to delete the users to change the permissions like that fourth one to copy the files but at the point of time when we are using modules we cannot able to work with multiple modules if i want to use multiple modules and if i want to reuse them time by time what is the concept i said to you what is the meaning of playbook collection of modules collection of modules is called as playbook we can reuse the modules and we can reuse the playbook as well playbook is which program like which language yaml yaml means get another Markup language. Okay, so it is going to have three, three hyphens and three dots, but it is optional. And again, AML is going to start with list. List means this one, sir. I am seeing list here, sir. AML is completely indentation based. If you miss the indentation, you will get the wrong output. But don't worry, there is a website to correct the indentation. AML int is the website. Like it's an online editor actually. We can correct the indentation there. I'll show you on tomorrow session. And next, we have seen tags. What is the purpose of using tags, sir? We can execute or skip the specific task. So we have seen all the examples: how to execute single tasks, how to execute multiple tags, how to skip specific tag, how to skip the multiple tags as well. So is it enough for today, or can we continue with one more topic? Sure. i would like to take one thing from you the class is daily one and a half hour what they asked me is to teach one and a half hour basically i need to stick to the one and a half hour but what is the thing i said for is how much you are flexible per day we will take that much of time only how much you are capable of listening per day in one and a half hour one no one hour means our course will go for 6 months then what Let's let's make it two minutes per day. Huh? I'll come here and I'll operate something and then I'll go. One hour, ten minutes we'll discuss and twenty minutes will be completed doubts for you. And one more thing, your class is going to start at ten fifty only. Basically ten forty five, right? The reason why I won't start ten forty five means some people might get traffic issues or some many other issues. That is the reason I never start class at ten forty five. If I start the class at ten forty five, the people. Who are coming to the class? They will meet some point, right? For that purpose only, your class will be starting at ten fifty. So from ten fifty to exactly twelve, we are going to discuss concepts. 
from 12 completely with doubts and query session you can ask anything regarding doubts okay for all of you and if someone asks you ram sir is not teaching one hour one and a half hour we are like taking one hour you are going to say like this please don't tell yes sir then you don't want me to work here eh? fine so all i like is it flexible for all of you can you confirm so 10 50 to 12 will be the class from 12 you are going to get the doubts all I like, I would like to get a response from all of you. Okay, uh, seems everyone is flexible with it. Fine. The Hamsa yesterday notes you didn't mention underscore after host name. Underscore under host name means what? It is a host name, right? I've given it clearly now. Bashir, like I am not able to get what you are asking, Bashir. Multi execution, multiple execution, let's just give comma like a uh, Shishma. Just Please give comma and give the tag name too. It is going to get. Or if you want me to show lively, it's okay. So just to give C comma D. Now C and D are going to skip. A and B are going to execute. That's it. Fine. So like now coming to the doubts and queries. In today's class, any doubts or any queries in playbook, in tags and models. If you are having any doubts, like please ask me. Why? Because I would like to spend more of my time with interacting students. See, you are coming to offline means you are expecting some interaction, right? I am ready to provide, but it depends upon like how you are going to interact with me. And like nobody is going to ask this much of times. Is it clear? Is it clear? Are you okay? Are you okay? Even like I am getting throat pain as well sometimes. Fine. So you are 17 the repository. 17082023. So it is Ansible date. And in last class, I said one comment, right? How to print the history for timestamp. From where we started today? Oh, from here. I'm giving the history as well as I'm giving the running notes as well. Give me one second. Uh, where it started today. Yeah, from here it is sensible modules. So your notes is updated. So multiple software installation, is it possible in one module comment? Basically you can do it Satya, but you will get some uh, mismatches there. I won't prefer. But if you want to, you can do like, we can do it with the help of loops. I'll tell you in tomorrow's class Satya. Ram sir, please explain Tomcat once again day before yesterday. Na? Okay, you want Tomcat set up? Don't worry, Tomcat we are going to set up on top like um, Ansible as well. I'll show you here. What is SRC? SRC means source. Give our file name. Bashir. <coughs> so now like uh, how the Ansible is for you? All of you? Uh, some people are busy with phones already here. Eh? Whatever you online, like how the Ansible is for you. Can you tell me on comments? It's easy. <clears throat> Fine. Good. So try to give response like this. So I'll get some clarity, like how much you are following for the day. Because the only thing like you are having the greatest flexibility is you can use me how much you want. You can take my knowledge how much you want. But again, depends upon you. If you are passionate, I'll be more passionate than you to teach. Okay. But if you are like dumb and slow in class, what can I do? Cannot do anything, right? So try to uh, like more energetic in the class for doubts and any other things. And one more thing. First of all, like a happy engineering day for all of you. Today's engineering day, right? How many are like engineering graduates from here? When me too. <laughs> 
electronics ah for clubs <laughs> okay fine so unable to connect to jenkins from ec2 that means you miss the port sushmita so check your ports in mobax from where you download pem file in mobax from i don't download pem file i download pem file on my local so from there you can connect rajit rajita sorry So still any queries for online? Online still any queries uh, from your end like I'm ready to answer. Festival holiday, how many days sir? Sunday and Monday. Tomorrow we have class. <laughs> No, no, there is some other thing. Okay, online like it's uh, clear for you, so we can wrap session for today. So we can meet on tomorrow session. If you don't have any doubts or queries, or if you have, please ask me.